Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, advanced renamed reactions. So that is nothing but a CSR net advanced naming reactions. Advanced naming reactions. In that, we, our category is C double bond C formation reactions. We are already discussed uh, some of the C double bond C formation reaction like uh, Shapiro, Bomford, uh, Stephens. Third one is McMurray coupling. Fourth one is Julia Wolfination. We are already discussed uh, the modification of uh, Julia Wolfination also. Okay. Now we will go through the another category for the formation of double bonds. That is nothing but a uh, Peterson elimination Peterson elimination or olefination so here it forms the double bonds that's why it is also called as a Peterson olefination so according to the general definition of a P Peterson olefination so the conversion of carbonyl compounds the conversion of carbonyl compounds CC means uh, carbonyl compounds into olefins the conversion of carbonyl compounds into olefins uh, with a uh, Alpha silyl carbonyl alpha silyl carbonyl through the like via beta hydroxy silane intermediate beta hydroxy silane intermediate silane intermediate okay this is the general de definition now conversion of carbonyl compounds into uh, olefins with the help of uh, silyl alpha silyl carbonyl so through the beta hydroxy silane intermediate let us let us go through the simplest representation of uh, Peterson olefination. Now here it is a carbonyl compound whether it is ketone or aldehyde uh, doesn't matter. Now we will use the like alpha silyl carbonyl. This is the silane like a trimethyl silane attached carbon atom. So now silane adjacent position is carbonyl. So generally alpha position of the silane it is carbonyl. Beta position of the silane is ca carbocation. We are discussed over there like a silane chemistry. Now here alpha silyl carbonyl. This carbonyl protected by the like a uh, first year group elements like lithium or potassium. Uh, like uh, such, a, such a type of metals. Now here, this carbonyl will attack over the electrophilic center of carbonyl compound. Now it forms the like a uh, C double bond o, C double bond O becomes C single bond O minus. Now here it is R. Now let us take the aldehyde. Here it is a uh, SiMe3. Here also one hydrogen is hydride. Now here it is uh, represented over here. Okay. So generally O minus. So the O minus will protonate uh, with the help of water molecule. Now it becomes a OH. So this is the silane compound. Silane adjacent, silane adjacent position is called alpha. So alpha adjacent position is called beta. Beta position having the hydroxyl group. That's why it is called as beta hydroxy silane. Beta hydroxy silane. That is the intermediate. That is the intermediate. Now here we use the like uh, either acid or base. So it promotes both the medium like acidic medium or basic medium. It, it occurs like a spontaneous reaction. Now it, it forms the like either cis form, either cis or trans. Only one isomer is formed. Either cis or like a trans product. So among these two, only one isomer is formed. That is called a stereospecific. Okay, the production of single isomer uh, uh, with a different uh, like a different uh, isomers of a starting material. Now here, among these two, only one product is measured based on the our uh, like a uh, acidic or basic condition. Now here, so the byproducts are SiMe3OH. So the two moles of uh, this uh, like reduced uh, like a byproduct reagent, two moles will undergo the like water elimination now it forms the si o si like a hexamethyl diacylyl ether okay now this this byproduct boiling point is 101 degrees okay now so the byproduct elimination very easier in case of a, like a distillation method in case of a distillation method by using the distillation method we can easily evaporate the byproduct molecule now we will get the pure form of olefins pure form of olefins so generally the stereo specificity of reaction mainly depends upon the two factors one is a uh, nature of like nature of a uh, uh, catalyst that means either acidic or basic acid or base now the second one is uh, like a uh, orientation of a uh, intermediate orientation of beta hydroxy silane intermediate now here in case of two chiral centers are like two leaving groups are there that means the same groups are there now it, it produces with like two types of isomer one is erythro isomer another one is three isomer one is erythro isomer another one is three isomer if like groups are uh, same side it is a erythro isomer here it is a r here it is r both are hydrogens now in case of uh, opposite side SiMe3 OH H here RR. Okay, now it is a three isomer. It is a 
three isomer. So the first one is erythro isomer, the second one is the three isomer. So based on the orientation of the our intermediate, it will also affected on the like a single isomer production, single isomer production. Now here erythro isomer it give up two two types of product in acidic medium and basic medium. So both the mediums it gives the different product. Now here it is also it gives the two types of product. One is acidic medium product, another one is basic medium product. The overall reaction condition will mainly depends upon the like nature of these two like a uh, intermediate nature or promoting uh, promoting reacid like a promoting catalyst nature okay now i'll go through the some of the uh, simplest uh, mechanical pathway so we'll discuss some of the simplest mechanical uh, reactions the first one is so here oh here is a simu3 simu3 now uh, let, let us go through the here it is OH uh, doesn't matter uh, uh, both groups or whatever the present doesn't matter now I use the like a acidic medium catalyst acidic medium as a like a promoter of the reaction now in case of acidic medium here uh, acidic acidic group it presents the H plus ion our OH group will abstract the proton then it becomes OH2 minus OH2 plus not minus OH2 plus now here it forms the OH2 plus here SIME3 Okay, now the driving force of the elimination of water molecule, whenever another mole of OH2, another mole of OH2 will attack over the less electronegative center, that is nothing but a silicon center. Uh, so these bonded, silicon bonded two electrons will shift towards the carbon-carbon single bond. Now here excess of counter, it is eliminated, it is eliminated. Now what will happen? So it produces the double bonds, it produces the double bonds. So in case of uh, acidic medium, it requires like anti-periplanar elimination, anti-periplanar elimination. Now we'll go through the like a different isomer with the same condition. Here SIME3, here SIME3, Bo uh, like here OH, both are in a same, same periplanar, like a same condition. Now we use the same planar, now we use it the acidic medium. So what will happen? Acidic medium will requires the OH2 plus ion. OH, uh, like uh, acidic medium. Now, what will happen now here? So, acidic medium it requires anti periplanar, uh, anti periplanar like that. So, in case of uh, like a uh, such type of uh, such type of starting material, now here it is the SIME3, it is bottom plane. Now, here it is also having the OH group, it is also present over the bottom plane. Now, here it creates the carbocation. Okay, if opposite position of the silyl group, they can uh, donate uh, their pair of electrons and it forms the double bonds uh, with a uh, anti periplanar arrangement. Now, here both the groups are same side, so it can. Not over it cannot form the double bond in case of uh, like elimination reaction okay now it requires a cc bond in case of cc bond rotated molecule we will get the si me3 here the group is uh, rotated that means it, it becomes above the plane it becomes above the plane now here so again it, it is eliminated it is eliminated oh2 over there so these bonded two electrons will shift it towards like this so here oh2 plus it is eliminated now we will get the this is as a major product this is as a major product so this is a like a, a 2018 gate question very easier question 2018 gate question so generally like acidic medium it requires anti periplanar arrangement so that's why here cc bond rotation takes place why because so they are given in the same periplan same planar like a leaving groups so both are in same planar so that's why it is a cc bond rotation takes place now the same reagent uh, what will happen in case of a basic medium the same reagent what will happen in case of a like a same substrate here it is a substrate is the same now we use it the base so base means will abstract the proton from acidic position now here k plus h minus will abstract the proton from uh, oh group then it becomes o minus then it becomes o minus so here sime3 here like o minus so this o minus the oxygen character uh, like uh, adjacent position like adjacent uh, silicon phosphorus atoms having the more tendency to form the double bond to form the bond with a uh, more electronegativity atom so generally i repeated my sentence so generally silicon or phosphorus atoms having the more tendency to form the bond with higher electronegativity atoms so that's why so o minus can form, form the bond with the silicon atom okay now here silicon is upper hand but uh, oxygen uh, oxygen present over the upper upper side but uh, our silicon present over the bottom bottom of the plane that's why so here also it requires a cc bond it requires a cc bond rotation now here it is rotated it is rotated 
so now it becomes O minus. It is S I M E three. S I M E three. So our O minus will form the bond over there. Now it becomes a. Now it becomes a. O. Here silicon having the more than its valency. That's why here creates the negative charge. That means silicon, uh, silicon or phosphorus atom. It readily forms the double bonds with more electronegativity atom. That's why this bonded two electrons will shifted over there. Now here this bonded two electrons will shifted over there. Now we will get the same as a product. Same as a product. Now whenever acidic medium it requires anti periplanar anti periplanar elimination but basic medium it requires a sing periplanar elimination due to the formation of a four membered heterocyclic ring four membered heterocyclic ring now we'll go through the simple representation of acidic and basic mediums now here it is acidic another one is basic so generally a for apple okay this is our uh, like uh, detection now here is in case of peterson wall definition a for acidic uh, acidic for anti elimination very easy okay acidic for anti -elimination. Elimination. Basic for another one is syn elimination. Basic for syn elimination. Now we'll go through the this acidic and uh, basic uh, anti and syn elimination in the in form of like a Fisher as well as a Sawhorst representation. Fisher as well as Sawhorst representation. Okay. Like uh, we use the both the both the isomers like erythro as well as a three isomers. Now let us go through the. Erythro isomers in Fisher form. So erythro means both leaving groups are same side. Like like groups are same same side. That is a erythro isomer. Now we'll go through the like a C3H7 as a byproduct. C3H7. It is a very easy example. Okay. So that uh, those uh, three alkyl groups is nothing but C3H7. Now whenever this is converts into like a Sahas form. Sahas form like the, the, that means uh, here the vertical planar carbon atoms. Uh, Oriented like a bended bed shape, a bended bed shape. Now here it is C3H7. It is C3H7. Whenever we observe the molecule over here, that means here left side is hydrogen atom, right side is OH atom. So left side OH, uh, left side hydrogen, right side OH. Similarly, left is a hydrogen, right is SiM3. Right is SiM3. Now in case of like a Sawhorst pro pro projection molecule, now we use the both the mediums in the same same in the same time like a uh, for our understanding, I'll I'll write the both acidic and basic medium at the same time. Okay. Now here acidic medium it requires a for a for apple in our the in our uh, childhood case. But a for apple in Peterson sorry a for a for anti elimination a for acidic acidic for anti elimination in our Peterson elimination Peterson elimination. Now here it is acidic medium that means either H two SO four or tosyl uh, like uh, toluene sulfonic acid or uh, any other like acidic reagents H three PO four. Now here here, acidic medium means both the groups are oriented in the opposite manner. So, but here our, our leaving groups are like OH silica trimethylsilane or in same planar. That's why it requires a CC bond rotation. CC bond rotation. Now the CC bond rotation of only one carbon. And if both carbons will be rotated like a same manner, that means we will get the uh, identical isomer. That's why here we will rotate the molecule only one molecule, only one atom, only one carbon atom. So, like uh, it rotated like this. It rotated like this. Upper one doesn't change. C3H7. But uh, lower one. So 180 degrees rotation means a C3H7. Uh, bottom one becomes a top one. So here it is C3H7. So these two groups. Whenever we will rotate the molecule like 180 degrees. Now here OH present over here. Hydrogen present over there. Okay. Now here OH. Here H. Now here. So OH and silicon, they are oriented in opposite planar. Now here elimination takes place. Our water molecule will go through the here. So this bonded to electron will shift it over the carbon-carbon single one, it is eliminated. So here it, it already forms the OH2 plus molecule. OH2 plus molecule. Now we will get the olefin like here C3H7. Here C3H7. So this is the trans olefin. This is the trans olefin. Now in case of a basic medium, that means it requires a syn periplanar. Why? Because here it forms the like a uh, four member heterocyclic uh, oxytane silyl ring uh, silyl oxytane ring that's why here both uh, leaving groups are in same plane then only basic medium elimination takes place now here already it is present no need to rotation no need to rotation okay so that's why it is a uh, uh, usually uh, molecules are like a o minus will shifted over the silicon atom this bonded to electron will shifted the carbon carbon single bond it is eliminated now we will get the 
C3H7 is bottom, C3H7 is bottom. Here hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, so generally erythroisomers will give us the uh, two types of product. In acidic medium, we will get the trans product. Basic medium, we will get the cis product. Now, what will happen in case of uh, like a uh, trio isomerism? Trio isomerism. Let us change the two groups. So, HOH. So, that means here the orientation of Saha's position like this. Now, I will write the both acidic and the basic conditions. Okay. So, here acidic medium means uh, the orientation of leaving groups are opposite, anti periplanar, 180 degrees rotation. Now, here these two groups are oriented like that only. That's why here easily eliminated. Now, we will get the C3H7, C3H7. Like a syn periplanar, syn periplanar molecule. That means we will get the cis cis product. Now, in case of a basic medium, it requires like a syn periplanar environment of intermediate. Okay. Now that's why here cc bond rotation takes place. Here cc bond rotation. Now we will get the uh, top molecule as the same. Here C3H7, but the bottom molecule will shifted like this C3H7. Now, whenever 180 degrees rotation, that means uh, here the methyl uh, C3H7 group over present over there, like OH, OH group present over the opposite side, hydrogen group present over the opposite side. Now, here it is hydrogen, it is OH. Here, both the group, both the leaving groups are same plane. Now, we will get the similar, like uh, our wolfine as a trans, our wolfine as a trans product. So, this is the three isomeric products. Three isomer uh, product. Now, let us conclude the erythro and three isomers. Erythro, in case of acidic medium, we will get the trans product. In basic medium, we will get the cis product. In case of three o, acidic medium, cis product. Basic medium, trans product. We are already getting those, those molecules in our lecture. Okay. Now, we will go through the very simple clear cut uh, easy explanation easy trick about peterson olefination examples now we'll go through the uh, some of the peterson olefination examples okay guys now we'll go through the some of the problems regarding to the peterson olefination now the first problem so they are given in the h plus i'll give a very simple trick for the solving the peterson olefination problems now here they are given in the opposite plane okay so a for acidic that means an acidic anti elimination. So, one is enough to uh, remember the Peterson definition. Base is automatically seen. Now, they are given in the uh, acidic medium. Acidic medium means anti elimination. So, they are given in the anti position. So, don't, don't requirement of uh, CC bond rotation. Now, we'll get the like similar product. Now, here they are given in the base. Base means uh, base requires a sin elimination. Base requires a sin elimination. But they are given in the opposite plane. Now here they are given in the opposite plane. That's why it requires a CC bond rotation. It requires a CC bond rotation for uh, converting the both molecules in same plane. Th that's why. Then after we use the, the base, now we will get the like a Z, Z isomer. Now we will get the Z isomer. Now in case of second one, so here there is no stereoselectivity, uh, so it doesn't give the like a cis and trans isomer. That, that's why we are used either base isomer or uh, acidic isomer. We will get the same product. Okay, so this is the simplest product. Now what will happen in case of uh, like a fourth example? Here it is lithium. That means uh, here it is plus CH is minus. So our CH attack over there. Uh, okay, now I'll rub, uh, rub the uh, wipe out the above uh, examples. Okay, now here. In, in case of a C minus, we'll attack over there, then it becomes a, like O minus here CH that attached to the COOR again it is attached to the SI methyl. Okay, here it becomes OH, here it becomes OH. Now we use it the H plus or uh, OH, OH minus doesn't matter why because it doesn't produce the any like uh, cis and trans isomers. Now here, so in case of H plus, so here. Uh, OH becomes OH2 plus uh, or bond, silicon bonded two electrons will shifted over there then it forms the like the C double bond CH COOR C double bond CH COOR so this is the fourth example this is the fourth example now I'll go through the fifth one so this is a previous year gate question we get 2017 I think approximately 2017 December or June okay now here they are given in the acidic medium so we are already discussed acidic medium means anti-elimination acidic medium means anti-elimination now here OTBDMS so they are already arranged in the anti-position that's why we will get the same product we will get the same product so here TBAF TBAF that means uh, it is a fluoride reagent so that uh, deprotected the our silyl reagent now we will get the like a yellow alcohol okay so here TBAF 
So here yellow ethyl alcohol can can get the epoxidized in presence of a sharp plus a plus a date or minus date. We will get the like a stereospecific epoxides. Stereospecific epoxides. Now our topic is Peterson oil finishing. That's why I did not um, uh, continue the another uh, like a second part of this question. Second part of this question. Now if there, if there is any possible, I'll make the video on like a uh, Peterson oil finishing, CSAR, John net reactions. Okay, like a gate reactions. Now the sixth one is uh, like a. Uh, Trimethyl silyl methyl lithium methyl lithium then it 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 attacks over the carbonyl compound okay so it attack over the carbonyl compound then it becomes O minus okay O minus becomes OH here CH two CH two having the silyl okay so after the after the CH two SiMe three here termed a tetramethyl ethylene diamine is a like a enhancing re, uh, enhancing reagent. Here it uh, CCl3. It is a uh, like a it's a uh, yeah. Here both uh, thymda and CCl3 it will promote the our uh, formation of uh, beta uh, beta hydroxysilane compounds. Now here uh, base uh, NaHCO3 that means basic medium. So it is eliminated uh, like a syn periplanar. Now we will get the like exocyclic double bond. Exocyclic double bond. In previous uh, fourth example also we will get the exocyclic double bond. Now what about uh, seventh example? Now here the seventh example here they are given in the KH medium so KH means a uh, basic medium so here both the groups are same plane that's why we will get the same product C4H9 methyl okay now here C5H11 so in generally uh, this reaction I'll write the uh, products like this here so C4H9 methyl C5H11 okay so in case of uh, KH medium that means acidic medium we will get the this is the major product uh, now again another one is also formed uh, that is methyl C4H9 like a C5H11 okay it forms the 5 percent but it uh, first one it forms the 95 percent in case of uh, basic medium okay it is a basic medium not the acidic medium now in case of second one acidic medium so it is the reversed so acidic medium means uh, like anti-elimination the both groups are pre present at the same plane that's why it requires a CC bond so it gets the 95 percent and now here it appears like a 5 percent okay. so ninth one it is very important and useful one so they are given in the like a uh, very interesting uh, groups in the molecule okay now they are given in the osmium tetroxide along with a uh, n methyl like a uh, n methyl anoxide morphylene anoxide nmo n methyl morphylene anoxide so here they are given in the osmium tetroxide osmium tetroxide can form the double bond to diols double bond to diols again it having the some stereo selectivity so if any chelating group is present at the adjacent position chelating like oh or nh2 it it uh, forms the diols with the same same group okay so whenever the presence of uh, like a tamda with the help of tamda they form the similar like a similar type of uh, like a similar phase of the diodes but there is no tamda okay but here osmium tetroxide there is no presence of a potential group it is oac it is not a potential group that's why here the double bond diodes forms the opposite side of the steric group now here all are the present uh, above the plane now our diodes forms the opposite plane so here it is simg3 COO methyl COAC. Okay, so here they are given in the tosyl oxy group. Tosyl, uh, like uh, it is called uh, toline uh, sulfonic acid. Toline sulfonic acid. It's uh, the name it indicates it is acid. Okay, acid means acid requires uh, which type of elimination? Acid either uh, anti elimination or base elimination. So acid is nothing but uh, anti elimination. That's why here trimethyl silane OH are opposite plane. Now we will get the like a uh, uh, anti eliminated product anti eliminated product here the double bond here OH here OAC here COO methyl COO methyl very easier so they are they are confused with uh, uh, another protecting group if they are given in the again uh, here they are given in the OH like uh, opposite plane what will happen in case of uh, tosyl oxygen that is acidic medium here only double bond uh, elimination takes place but they are given in the here OH okay let us assume here OH here OH is there if they are given in the like a KH what will happen in case of basic medium syn elimination takes place that's why our silicon reagent uh, will eliminated with the help of same side OH group same side OH group that's why here the double bond forms the right side of the group okay so in case of acidic medium it left side forms the double uh, double bond now in case of basic medium it develops the double bond at the right side okay this is the stereospecificity of the reaction now the final one is the final example of uh, Peterson well finish is here uh, 
trimethyl cell methyl uh, like uh, ch2 mgcl that is grig not reagent it is minus it is plus so our uh, reagent attack over there then it creates the o minus now what will happen okay here the double bond here or here oh uh, sorry epoxide now here oh as well as a ch2 sime3 so here uh, ch2 sime3 Silicon adjacent position alpha, alpha adjacent position beta. Now here, in case of a basic medium, it, it, it doesn't matter why because there is no stereo uh, like a trans and cis isomers. That's why it, it uh, creates the double bond over here only. Now we will get the double bond here O S I M E three here O like this. Now here O R O. Are uh, here the double bond very easier okay so it helps a lot uh, for the CSIR or JOM or net example okay so this type of questions are uh, asked in regularly in case of a Peterson verification so first and second so first and second again uh, fifth examples they are asked uh, regularly with uh, along with a uh, uh, debt sharp plus epoxidation reaction sharp plus uh, epoxidation reaction okay uh, if you like the video please subscribe this channel and share your friends as well as younger siblings okay thank you for watching